What's up YouTube? Flip Method here and this is Valkyrie Anatomia and today we're going to go over the Nameless Flowers event where you can farm out the 6 star sword Falcatraos. That is a long name. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Alright, so let's go and take a look at the event. Um, the event is a currency exchange event where you can farm out the items uh, silver imitation flowers so you can farm out the silver imitation flowers and as you collect enough of them you can trade them in at the exchange booth over here and you can get a six star sword which i already bought and then you can get these uh items to awaken its action skill so you'd fuse them in to awaken its action skill limit break items as we scroll down limit break for uh traditional five star weapons and then we can get a six star weapon limit break uh, crystal which I've already bought uh, you can buy uh, gold tickets which if you get five of them you can do um, a pull for a five star weapon and up it's guaranteed five star and up if you get five of those uh, yellow tickets so we could farm out some of those here and then you can also farm out these uh, hammers these hammers are not locked to being used to that weapon so it's steel hammer sword it doesn't mean you have to use it for that weapon but if I were to put this into a sword I would get more experience and it would level up faster than if I was putting these hammers into a bow say for instance so you can use them for other weapons but I would suggest not to you can also get gold as I scroll down through all these things you can get gold and you can get rainbow keys which you can use for divine transfer okay so let's take a look at the actual event dungeons itself so nameless flowers one all the way up through six would be the story event and it follows uh, around senna jean and lucia okay so as it follows the senna jean and lucia storyline uh you're going to go up and you can get more and more and more of these uh imi silver imitation flowers as you go through the stages so for instance this one only drops five but if you bring in one of those three characters, you're going to get additional silver imitation flowers by bringing in one of them. Now, you can also get additional uh, silver imitation flowers by equipping certain weapons to them that are currently on banner. So the banner is the Holy Divine Weapons. And as you can see, these weapons right here have silver imitation flower plus. That means they're going to boost the drop for that when you're running those as weapons. Uh, it's a full 25 for this one, and you get 10 for this one as an added bonus. And if you run them in the sub slot, they drop half as many. So you'll only get, say for instance, this one drops 10 normally if you run it in the main slot, but if you're running it in the sub slot, it only drops an additional five. But because they're flat rates and not percentages, that means that whenever you're running through the dungeon if you have all three characters in your party and you have a whole bunch of the weapons or whatever you can just run nameless flowers one if you wanted if that's if that's what's easiest for you and you're not going to lose out on that much now it is more optimal to run the characters from the higher uh, dungeons but i would say find out what is the balance for you of what the difficulty is considering the game is so new not everybody is you know all the way up there yet um so find out what the balance is for you for the difficulty versus uh, being able to run the bonus characters because there is sort of a balance there. Um, so if you have to run six but you can't run any bonus characters, then maybe that's just the same for you as running five but running all, a full bonus team with bonus weapons. Know what I'm saying? So fi find your balance for uh, all of your gear and all of your units. But, let's take a look at that weapon real quick. So here it is. Here's the weapon, Falcatraos. Falcatraos is a dark elemental weapon. It has a guard rate of 17% right now at base level. And it has Hellbide. Hellbide is an AoE dark elemental move. It does heavy dark damage. And we also have Dark Fear, which increases dark attack so if you're going to equip this to say like a character like Chloe who is already doing dark attacks, um, just every attack is just doing that much more damage. So great weapon here. Great weapon for dark based users. In fact, let's lock it. All right, now 
my advice for the event itself, if you want to do any of the additional stages, these are sort of the bonus stages. They're not necessary to run. Um, but if you want to get, uh, you know, just some of the additional uh, flowers out of these, or you want to get the gems, you can run them, but they're very hard. Uh, so let's go and take a look at Nameless Flower 2, which is still pretty difficult. I'm not going to be able to do it with this team, but let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now, see, Senna has this cool, like, glowing thing around her. That means she's a bonus character for this. That means she's going to drop additional of uh, the flowers. So, yeah! And she's also got that weapon equipped, which means she's going to drop additional flowers. So, yeah! Way to go, Wonder Planet! Thanks for that! Um, let's go in. So I'm not going to go through the whole stage, let's just skip straight to the boss. Alright, so here's the boss. Now he's a pretty tough cookie. Uh, we have Dead Skeleton B. This is only of the second stage. They do get harder as they go up. So he's weak to fire, weak to ice, resistant to, to lightning, resistant to light, and weak to dark, and resistant to non-elemental. So that means if it doesn't have an element on it, like, say, Schventlight, for instance, it's not going to do as, as much damage. So he's resistant to non-elemental as well. Um, how you would get around this is by equipping them with... Uh, you're going to deal damage to him by equipping him with dark elemental weapons, or ice, or fire, or using a character that has one of those three elements as a natural attack. So a lot of characters have built into their attack skills natural elemental attacks. So those characters would be Sadamatsu, who has ice, Malvina, who has fire, Altvir, who has fire, Kurt with ice, Arngrim with fire, Lucia with ice, Chloe with dark, Valvois with ice, Anelian with fire, Nachi with dark, Ingrid with dark, and Deline with dark. Okay? So those characters are all going to do more damage just based on their natural skill set. As, uh, as long as they have a non-elemental weapon equipped. Okay? Um, let's see what happens if he gets the chance to attack us. So he's doing this AoE move here. So that AoE move is pretty nasty. It can apply poison. It can apply paralyze on the higher stages. And it can also apply curse. Now I didn't get cursed or paralyzed this time, but I did get poisoned. What paralyze means is the characters can't take an action. What poison means is that each one of these characters is going to take damage at the end of my turn. So whenever they all finish their turn, each one of them is going to take damage as if they were hit. And Curse, which is personally not my favorite, Curse means every time they would attack, they would take damage. So, they would go, uh, and I would lose health. And they would attack again, and I would lose health again. Every time they attack. Curse is not my favorite. Um, so, what you're going to want is to at least have some characters in your party that are immune to that. So let's pop out and see the characters that are immune to those status effects. We'll start with Paralyze. Paralyze is Ranvald if you equip him with the proper orbs. Okay? You can get him all the way up to 100% immunity if you equip him with the green orbs. But Ranvald has lightning elemental attacks, so he's not going to do as much damage. Okay? Then we have Kachina, who is immune to Curse. But she has light elemental attacks, so she's not going to do as much damage. And then we have Chloe, who's really the shining gem of this event. She has dark elemental attacks, and she is immune to poison if you have her equipped with purple orbs. Okay? So she's going to be immune to poison. That's extremely helpful. 
and she does natural dark attacks. So even if you don't have a dark weapon, you can equip her with something like Shvetlite, and she's going to be dealing dark damage. And that's super helpful. Okay? So, just to wrap up real quick, if you want to farm out this event, grab Senna, Jean, Lucia, throw some dark, fire, or ice elemental weapons on them, and go to town. If you want to share a friend unit for it, I suggest sharing Chloe with a dark fire or ice element weapon. Um, the dark element weapon that you can get from this is extremely helpful, and if you can get the orbs on her that give her poison immunity, it can really help other people be able to go through the bonus stages as well. Alright, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace!